Hey guys, Jason with KC Turbos. Today we have a boost leak detector. This is very important for new turbo installs, old turbos, they get tired, they get worn out, boost leaks happen. And this is how you do it. Okay, so then you're gonna wanna fit this boost leak detector right on the inlet of your turbo. You're gonna take that air hose, your industrial connection or your M style connector. Okay, so we're gonna slowly fill it up. You don't wanna just completely open it up because you wanna make sure that the boost leak detector is not gonna just blow off. We'll start at 25 there and you can see how quickly the gauge drops. I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up again. Okay, look, we get it up to 25 and one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000. That's dropping way too fast. It should take about 45 seconds for it to drop down to zero. But you can hear that there's a boost leak somewhere. So what we gotta do is chase down where is that leak, okay? What a lot of people will do is get some soapy water. You just go ahead and start spraying it at connection points. Make sure that it's not leaking where you put the boost leak detector on. And the outlet of the turbo, the boots, the clamps, you know, in the general area. So sometimes the soapy water, it just doesn't bubble. It will drive you insane as to where this is. And boost it up again. Boom, 35 pounds. Okay, now we're just gonna kind of look around and what we have here is the wastegate hose. That is definitely a point of leak. It is coming out of there. So once we plug that, we have another leak somewhere and it's coming from around here. Now we can search with soapy water some more. Maybe it's coming off the map hose. You hear that? And so when you're searching with the soapy water, you can kind of fill this up and you can kind of leave it open a little bit, especially if it's dropping pressure. So now I'm keeping the pressure up by having the valve open just a little bit. See how it's just bubbling off of there? It's leaking from there. So what we recommend is putting a plug in there. You'll see there that I put that cap on it with a hose clamp and we're just gonna tighten that down. Pressurize it again. and it's still dropping okay so what's the problem now well we fix the red hose when we put the soap here you can see it spraying off you can see it spraying out of there and as I wiggle this it changes the sound these factory pinch style connectors just are very prone to leak. They're just not that, that stout. And you, as you can see, there's a tear on there. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is cut that back and put it back on with a hose clamp, something that's gonna hold it much more snug. So you can see here, what we did was we replaced the factory pinch style connector with a hose clamp on there. Let's try it again. Much quieter now. We don't have any leaks from the wastegate hose. We don't have any leaks from the map hose, but we do on the other end of the map hose. And look, what do we have again? We have a pinch style connector that is, that is a boost leak. See, as you can see, there was three places where there was a boost leak on this. And this is a brand new install brand new parts, brand new boots. I mean, it is just so common. It's, and everybody should boost leak test their truck. Okay, now we got a tight hose clamp on there that is probably not going to leak. So once again, we are going to, so it's dropping much lower. There is boost coming out of the crankcase. Now boost is going to get past the piston rings, that's just inevitable. The valves, the intake valve and the exhaust valve, they don't overlap, so it is not leaking past that. It's just, it's normal to have some blow by, and this is not gonna affect the performance of the boost system. But you see how it is dropping so much slower, and you can't hear any leaks anymore. So that was it guys, that was a boost leak. That was three locations that were leaking, there's many others. A lot of guys will say, well, I visually inspected or I ran a smoke test. 
That's not going to work. What is going to work is pressurizing the system up to the levels of boost that your truck's going to be running. That way you can fix those locations and you're going to lower EGTs, gain power, and your truck's just going to run better in general. So boost leak detector, that's how you fix boost leaks. There's no other way. That is the best way. You can buy this on CaseyTurbos.com. Let us know if you have any other questions and have a good day.